so this is what we're going to put together this is how we're going to learn to use the nodes how to get these dripping effects how to get these puddles it's awesome it's awesome look at that it's beautiful mate it's bloody beautiful it's bloody beautiful isn't it honey beautiful what is up everybody okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to use ultra dynamic nodes all right so these little wee bastards here so in ultra dynamic sky you get your sky which i've just dragged in here you get your weather which i'll drag in here and it'll make it rain and then i'm just going to go down to uh i've downloaded a couple of assets from megascans which is free uh i'll do a tutorial on that soon how to use them and stuff but for now i'm just going to drag in one or two assets zero i'm just going to place them at zero 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 and uh let's go find the little weed by start and let's just go here put on static mesh uh and put on mega scans and let's just make a quick little scene right right where is it where is it so i'm just gonna drop this over here and drop this over here and we get right so we've got a couple of scenes but the the issue mike the issues that i'm seeing here now is that nothing has got water on them you see that no puddles nothing nothing whatsoever now the nice thing about using mega scans is they all use one master material mother or master material so if i double click on one of any one of these assets under the details if i double click the the material i get something that looks like this and if i go all the way down I see here MS default material VT. Uh, you might not have VT, virtual texturing, if yours is not on, but mine is on, so I get virtual texturing. So if I double click this parent, this is the main material that drives all the other ones. So there's instances for the other ones. After you make a, uh, yeah, let me show you here quickly. After you make a uh, uh, mega scans, static mesh, 3D, and after you make like a, a master material over here this is an instance there we go it's an instance and if i double click in there at the very bottom you'll get the master material that drives all the instances which means it's the same mother material that drives all of them you're just making an instant of each and that instance can be manipulated in in other ways that you need right let's not get into too much detail with that so how do i make how do i use these nodes from uh the weather the weather so what i've got is i've got i've got a asset i'm going to double click the material of it i'm going to go down to the master material double click that and inside here i should get something like this right so uh right click and just type in wet if you've got uh this ultra dynamic sky and you'll get uh, wet weather effects click on that and what we want to do is we want to place it in between these two nodes okay you want to place it uh right here right here so if i hold down control i can take the albedo it gives me like a little hand that i can move things with so I hold down control and take that and plug that into base color take the metallic there's no metallic here so leave the metallic take the roughness plug it into roughness we good there and tangent normal do we have a tangent normal we do not so just leave it alone that's that's all we need and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the base color plug it into there and the roughness plug it into there and we should get a working material again now i can uh apply this and nothing's going to work okay it's still not going to work although it's starting to look wet Ooh, there we go it is starting to look wet very nice but i don't see any puddles or water or anything so over here what we want to do is we want to start messing with this little guy right first of all we want to put in puddles yes and sb we're going to take a boolean right click and just type boolean uh, and a boolean all that's going to say is if it's true or false right so we want to apply puddles and we want it to be true click the value true right so now we should have something else no because we don't have height okay we don't have height and height is the one that that uh does this completely uh really makes it in makes it work 
right so high is a scalar value so we're just going to make a scalar scalar we're going to chuck that into height and we're going to make that into convert into parameter right click it and just say convert to parameter and call it uh water height oh minge minge water height okay and we're going to set the default to say 0.3 for now so we can see what it does and now if i go into this and i click on my material uh, let me just see something quick yes if i click on my material here's the instance and now i get a couple of new parameters that i've added into here right i've got water height there it is so i can uh, put that on let me just close this off close it off and you can see that once i start messing with this you can see that it starts doing nothing me absolutely nothing it just does it very subtly look at that that's that's not exactly what we're looking for is it that's a waste of my time let's see what other values we got right so now we've got normal v3 that's the scale. default is 0.5. Okay, so put 0.5. Fine. 0.5. Just apply that. Uh, apply dripping ripples scale. Okay. So now let's see the scale of the ripples. We're going to make another uh, scalar. Put it into ripple scales and say convert to parameter and call it ripple scale. Okay. And let's put that on two just for now. Default one and apply that okay if you scale if you go over here default value is 130 so here we go it gives you helpful information right just hover over these things and it gives you some helpful information on these things uh drip scale so we want the ripples we want to dry puddles yes 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 uh wet roughness okay that's the roughness of it which once again you can add you can add to whatever you want here over here i can just put uh, uh what's it roughness wet roughness and once again let's see if there's a thingy 0 0.02 0 0.02 and we've got that default now i can hit apply interesting what's that the normal uh look at that ari we forgot to put in we forgot to put in the normal the normal goes there and the normal goes here we forgot that Ari. That's a, that's not a good one to forget, Ari. Right, let's apply that. There we go. There we go. As soon as I put the normal in here and the normal in there, then we start getting something that's starting to work. Look at that. Look at that, Ari. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? And then you can start messing here with, uh, let's see, uh, water height you can see here now that this starts to work no water very wet you can start messing with the roughness of the water which i don't know why you'd want to uh and here's the ripple scale now so you can make it tiny tiny ripples big ripples whatever you want okay but the normal is 130 that's the default right so here's the beauty of this now because we did it onto the parent material look it affects all of them it affects all of them but these we don't really want we want a different effect on this right we want a uh what what's it called Ari what's it called we want them to drip not make puddles so once again just click on any of these open up the parent material open it up Ari open it up and what we want to do here is we want to make the static boolean so type in boolean and we want it to be a parameter right a parameter boolean uh or we could right click this one no we can't okay so delete that one and why do we want a parameter because then we have the ability to switch it on and off so i can have apply puddles there default value to on and i can have another one oh no I can have another one and plug this into a blight dripping effect and have that off 
so this parameter is parameter name is uh, we're going to call this uh, dripping and we're going to call this one puddles okay puddles or ari we got puddles and we got dripping this one we want on puddles we want on this one we want off make sure one is on and the other one's off i mean i suppose you could have both i don't know i don't know ari uh, and then the other one that we need is we want to do uh, wet base color titan drip scale okay drip scale I'm gonna make a, a parameter here drip scale you can just hold one on your keyboard and press down to make one of these I'm gonna see what the scaler is 130 so I'm gonna click on that convert to parameter put this to 130 and call this uh, drip scale drip scale and that should be it uh, that should be it to do everything that we want Ari so let's have a look all right let's uh, save this save it save Ari apply it Ari I think if you save it does apply anyway so yeah it does go back here and now now what we should have is we should have there's puddles and there's dripping so if i go now to this bloody this bloody thing double click that now let's let's watch shari let's watch if i take puddles and i switch that off and i take dripping and i switch that on we should get a different effect now there it is it's very subtle but there it is ari there it is ari no uh water height this we can also do here you can see it there and then uh let's take drip scale there we go there we go take the drip scale down a bit and there we go now we start getting this dripping isn't that bloody cool isn't that bloody cool larry see if we can get this looking a little bit better scale scale let's let's make it even smaller like something like that make it really something something else something like that there's a lot of things wet roughness we can do it you know there's there's multiple things you can do here uh the other thing is you know if you do go inside of here you can check uh, there are ripple scale wet base color you can change the color you can add parameters for that which is a color parameter Titan wetness transition drip scale mask wetness I mean there's a lot of things that you can just add in what one right in right one the thing right so pretty damn cool so we've got those and now let's go to this one here let's, let's try it on this one so I'm gonna click on the material right hands and we're going to make this one also paddles off and the dripping on. Yes, this is beautiful. And bam, look at that. Look at that, Ari. Look at that. Let's let's mess with the bloody scale. Drip scale. That's why we make them parameters, Ari. Uh where is a little way little alright, so something a little bit smaller. Something like that. Look at that, Ari. Look at that. It's starting to get really cool. You know, see how wet you want it. How wet the roughness is. This is awesome. And there we go. Bam. You've got a scene that's looking a little bit more realistic. A little bit more realistic. I just want to see something here. If we got a... Uh, this is scale, wetness, wind drips in world space, map drips. I suppose this is all right. Drip UV, wet roughness, drip angle cutoff. There's so many parameters you got here, man. This is wicked. Play dripping and profiles. Awesome. But that's just a quick and dirty guide to get you guys going. Uh, We'll get into a lot more detail with this, definitely, because this one's an exciting one. This one's a very, very exciting one. Let's make it big so we can see it. Uh, but this this is this is pretty exciting, this one. I think these are awesome. So now you've got the scene, right? 
Look at this. You got this beautiful scene. Look at this, Annie. Look at this. It's so realistic. I can take the sun now. I can just make a little bit of a sky, something like that, or something. I can get some lights. Let's get a rectangular. And let's just, you know, light it up a little bit, something like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ari. This shite is awesome, man. Look at that. Oh, oh, Ari. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Ari. Make it something like blue or something. Put that down a little bit, Ari. Don't need to go crazy. Just one light and look at this. Look at this, Ari. Look at these effects you can get, Ari. Isn't that beautiful? Now, there's one more last thing I want to show you guys. In Blueprints, under Ultra Dynamic Sky, if you go to Blueprints and you go to Weather Effects, you get a couple of cool things here. Very cool things here. And there's just one that I want to go over right now, and that's Rain Drip Spline. If you drag and drop that into your scene, uh, you can start creating these kind of things, which is pretty cool. You know, you can obviously, you know, you can manipulate it. You can just click on the end pivots, uh, vertices, whatever, and you can start manipulating whatever you want. Click off of it, click on it, uh, and you can start, you you know, put it put it somewhere where it makes sense. Something like this. You know, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this, but then you can start getting things that drip. All right? And on top of that, you can start manipulating spawn, extra spawn, splash frequency, all these kind of things, drop scale, you can see that you can just manipulate these to get the size that you're looking for. And this is just incredible, man. So now you can start getting things that are dripping. Let's say you want one right over here, Ari, and it's not fitting, so you just you just do something like that. I get this bloody thing out. Let's just uh, let's just do this really quickly. Yeah, something like that. And then I can click on that, Ari. Put it like right on the right on the little base there. Look like at that. Click on that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And there we go. Look at that, Hans. Look at that, Hans. You got a dripping handle. You got it's really big drips though, isn't it? It's really big drips. You don't want something that big. You just want these cute little drips. I think I think we got there, there, there. Anyway, look at that. That is absolutely ridiculously beautiful. And this, people, is how you can start using these nodes to get a little bit more realism in your scenes. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for joining me, and I'll speak again later. Bye, guys. And so, look at this. This is awesome. You see that? You see the cool little things that you can start doing? Chucking in the camera. Man, this is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Damn, this is cool.